Before we begin, I do want to say that we will be talking about Dropbox and a portion of this video is sponsored by Dropbox. So we've been on our world traveling nomad journey for a year now while continuously pumping out 4K YouTube videos. And this year we wanted to focus more on capturing the beautiful scenery we're in while crafting engaging stories for you guys. So we actually relegated a lot of our editing to our top notch editors. So with all this going on, some of you were curious, how do we manage all of our data? How do we share our files with our editors? And what are our backup solutions? Well, today we're gonna shed some light on that and it's actually really simple. So first and foremost, I have an eight terabyte MacBook Pro in which I edit all of my active projects on. Yeah, I spent a pretty penny on this, but I knew how good it was gonna be. I knew Final Cut Pro 10 was gonna cut all of my 4K videos with LUTs, effects, and stabilization like butter. And I actually stopped editing off external SSDs for the last four years. When we're on the go, on the plane, on the train, on uncomfortable hotel beds, these tiny USB-C cord runs the risk of getting knocked and I can accidentally corrupt my projects. Mm -mm, not taking that chance. Editing off an internal SSD alleviates that risk and is actually much faster. Now, I understand holding all these huge projects on one drive is a huge risk on its own. So cue the first backup. A 4TB SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. Now, prior to this, I would carry a 5TB Lacey external hard drives, but these SSDs have gone a lot more affordable. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're still pretty pricey, so I stock slick deals like all the time to try to get the best price whenever possible. But as traveling nomads, the less weight you carry, the better, and these are so slim, they don't take up that much bag space, and 4TB is plenty. And it also helps that SSDs are fast, which makes backing up and pulling from much easier. So in the event that my laptop implodes, I still have the active project on this that I can take to Vivian's MacBook to continue working on. And that would be the only time that I would edit off an SSD. And so this portion is sponsored by Dropbox. Thank you, Dropbox. Now, when we pass off projects to our editors, we upload the active projects onto Dropbox. We use a three terabyte professional plan to file, share, and sync our video files, making it accessible to everyone on our team. Once the projects are done, my editors will export two versions of the final video. The first version having all the text and the music, and the second version without all the text and the music. The second version is more for future proofing purposes that we need to reuse certain elements of the video in another video without downloading the entire asset. And my editors each have a physical archival drive that I bought for them to house all the projects that they work on. Once it's filled, we'll have to mail it back to our home base. Which leads me to edited photos, finished videos, and important travel documents, which we will utilize Dropbox Backup for. With Dropbox Backup, you can choose specific folders on your computer, such as your desktop, documents, and downloads, and have it automatically back up to the cloud at all times. This even works with external drives as well whenever you plug it in and have internet access. In our case, we have a lot of digital assets finished videos, edited photos, recurring royalty-free music that I don't want to ever hunt down for again, a library of sound effects, and also important travel documents that keeps our business and travels running. Once set up with Dropbox Backup, it gets automated to backup every time my computer is online. If anything were to happen, I can simply access my backup anywhere, like on my phone in the app, and if I get a new device with a few clicks, I can quickly restore the important files that I need. The best part is that Dropbox Backup is a product that's included in all Dropbox plans. To learn more, check out the link on screen or down below and start backing up your files for free. Thank you Dropbox for sponsoring a portion of this video. Now, onto my home base backup. So periodically, usually every two to three months, we would come back to my parents' place for about two weeks, and here is where we set up home base. This is where we get ready for our next trip, swap out seasonal clothes, refresh on gear setup, stock up on any essentials, and of course, file dumping. So I uh, have a couple of these big 18 terabyte G drives that I just back everything up to after a trip. Usually whatever I still need to have access to, like edited photos and final videos, they're up on cloud. But for all the raw footage, it's a pain to access to anyway, so I don't need to have them on hand or on cloud. These are for projects that we are absolutely sure that we are done with. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be asking, no NAS? 
Unfortunately, the area our home base is located has the worst internet reception. They are refusing to build a better infrastructure to support fiber internet. Trust me, I pay for the fastest option possible if there was any, but there isn't. I already have trouble uploading YouTube videos back at home because it's so damn slow. So I can't imagine me trying to download files from my own NAS server. That's why we rely on cloud. While a NAS would support auto redundant backup in case one of my drives die, I do my own redundant project backup with these physical hard drives anyway, so I don't really need to invest in one. But at the end of the day, everyone's workflow is very different. For me, the most important thing was to make sure that I have a physical backup on hand and whatever else I need to recall later, I put them up in cloud. Hopefully this has helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.